Hello people YouTube, it's Deepak here, and welcome to DCS World 2.5.6 and Razbam Sims AV8B Harrier Module. Welcome to Tutorial 4. Today we're going to be demonstrating free fall bombs in the Harrier, uh, and that will be both in CCIP, which is Continuously Computed Impact Point, and CCRP, Continuously Computed Release Point modes. Uh, CCRP is uh, more of a pre-planned mode that allows you to drop bombs uh, in level flight using symbology on the HUD, and CCIP uh, is uh, a more target of opportunity mode uh, where you can simply put HUD symbology on a target, pickle the bombs off, and they drop. Uh, so th these are the two standard methods. There are a couple of additional backup methods of deploying freefall bombs in the Harrier in the event that mission computers or other equipment are not functioning correctly, but we're not going to cover those today. So for today's mission, we have a loadout of six times Mark 82 bombs. I'm just going to zoom in uh, on the, the left MPCD just now so that we can take a little look at those. So if I press menu at the bottom here and choose stores on the left hand side, we then have the standard wing form here with the weapons that we have currently loaded on the aircraft. You can see that we've got two fuel tanks, uh, we've got two double racks of Mark 82 and two single racks of Mark 82, giving us a total of six Mark 82s. So before I take off and fly to the target range, I'm going to program uh, the uh, the way that we're going to deploy these weapons. Now, there, there are two ways that you can select your weapons um, and, and program them. One of them is to use the SMS page, which is what we've got here, the stores page. Uh, SMS standing for stores management system. Uh, and there's also this panel below the left MPCD. And this is confusingly called the ASMCI, which is the Arm Armament Stores Management Control Indicator. Uh, and both of these basically do the same thing. So if you're using the SMS page, weapons that are loaded on the aircraft are stored as profiles across the top of the page here, in this case 82 for Mark 82. I can simply select the Mark 82, it's immediately selected, and then using the ODU I can change uh, all the options for deployment, quantity, multiples, interval, and fusing. Now this will disappear after a period of time, after having been selected, but the weapon button on the UFC will always bring it back. So in the, in the event that it's timed out, I press weapon again and these settings come straight back up for the currently selected weapon. So uh, for today's uh, deployment, we're going to drop a quantity of uh, two in multiples of two uh, without an interval. So we're basically just dropping pairs of bombs and we'll, we'll choose no, nose and tail fusing. There's a, a fuse in the nose and in the tail of each bomb and by enabling both we have redundancy. Um, so I'm going to show you that on the ASMCI first because it's a little bit more complicated. So you see that the, the pylons are numbered here uh, and the ones that have weapons on them have little red lines. So I can simply click on one of these. Oops, let's click on one of these and we now have, you can see these red lines on pylons 1, 2, 6 and 7 and that's the Mark 82 selected. So on the left hand side we can choose the mode. Automatic is CCRP. If I click this I get CIP for CCIP. If I click again I get DSL which is a backup mode and then I click again I go back to automatic. For the first drop we're actually going to do CCIP so I'm going to leave it there. Fusing, we want nose and tail so I'm going to flip through this until we get to uh, nose and tail. nose and tail instantaneous, N-T-I-N, that's what we want. We're going to drop quantities of two in multiples of two with no interval. And that's the entire setup. Uh, and you can see that that's reproduced on the SMS page here. Fusing N-T-I-N, uh, quantity two, multiples two. Uh, and I could have also done that, like I said, by simply clicking here. If I click quantity, uh, I would then be able to enter that on the UFC. It's, it's actually confirming here. Two, multiples, two, intervals, zero, fusing. Uh, with the fusing one you actually just keep clicking fuse until you get to the option that you want. So right here on the end we've got NTIN, nose tail instantaneous. Okay, so that concludes the pre-setup of the bombs. I'm now going to fly to the range and I'll see you guys there.
Okay, you rejoin me inbound the target range, and uh, we're now going to get set up for our first CCIP attack. Yeah, I'm going to do three attacks, each time dropping two bombs in pairs. First attack will be CCIP. The second attack will be what's called a CCIP to CCRP handover. Uh, I'll demonstrate that one for you shortly. And then I'll do a standard CCRP attack. So first thing we need to do is enter air to ground mode. As we already had the, the bombs pre-programmed, they're already set up and we immediately have the CCIP symbology. And here in the HUD we have GCIP, which is the, the standard CCIP attack. We're going to go Master Arm on and you can see the GCIP stops flashing now. Uh, we're then going to hit ALT on the UFC. I'll just move the view a little bit so we can see what it says. And what we want to do today is set up a pull-up queue. So basically I want to set uh, an altitude that I don't want to descend below during my attack. So I'm going to click PUCK and enter 2500. Enter. And that now results in us having pull-up queue enabled. Going to press that again to get rid of it for now. And you can see on the stores management page that the, the stations that have the bombs uh, on them are all boxed, and the first one that will drop has an arrow. Uh, so let's get our view centered up again very quickly. And you'll see the. Actually, I'm going to pause this for a moment while I go over the symbology. This is the standard CCIP symbology. So we have a dashed line and a cross at the bottom. While the line and the cross are dashed, that means that the actual position of the cross, which would be our bomb impact point, is below the bottom of the HUD. And it's below the bottom of the HUD by an amount mirrored by the distance from the cross to this thick line here. So in, f in effect, this distance here, if we were to take that and extend it down to, that would be about here, that's where our bombs would actually impact if I was to drop them now. Now, normally when you're doing a CCIP attack, you will be in a dive. And because of that, you can actually place the cross on the target and pick all the bombs off. And when you're able to do that, the cross and the line will be solid, confirming that wherever you place the cross is where the bombs are going to drop. So I'm going to demonstrate that type of attack. That's really all there is to it. You dive towards the target, put the cross on the target, and then you push and hold the pickle button until the bombs come off. I'm going to unpause now. Our target is just off to the left, and uh, it's, a, it's a bombing circle at, at this target range here, so I will get myself into position to attack it. So that's the northern bomb circle there, and I'm going to come all the way around, and I, I'm actually going to attack the southern bomb circle here. So I get my line lined up, I nose down until I've got the cross on the target, I push and hold, and I pull away. And that's two bombs off. And you can see on the store's management page there that two of my bombs have just disappeared. Okay, so I'm going to egress and get my altitude back. And then we're going to do a CCIP to CCRP delivery, which is slightly different. With that one, with a with the CCIP to CCRP, what we're going to do is we're going to press put the dashed cross on the target, and then we're going to push and hold the pickle button. And that will actually convert our CCIP into a CCRP attack. Alternatively, there are two methods for engaging it. That's my preferred method. Alternatively, you can put the cross on the target and simply tap the pickle button, a very short tap, and then you can press the uncage button to switch into a CCRP mode using that as your target. But today we're just going to hold the pickle button because that's the, I think, the simplest method for engaging this type of attack. So I'm going to come back around. Other thing to note, as soon as you uh, drop a weapon, the aircraft automatically sets a target point at that location. So we actually have steering on the HUD right now, directing us back to the last uh, bomb circle that we attacked, which is very handy. So, if I look down here now, you'll see that, yep, we've got a diamond confirming the location. So I'm going to put my cross over the diamond, and I'm going to push and hold, and you'll see that it's now converted to a CCIP attack with a bomb line. So all we need to do now is fly straight and level with the line through the flight path marker, and you'll see that we've just dropped the bombs. I'm releasing the, the pipper now, 
and we're going to egress to the west on this occasion. Uh, so that was a CCIP to CCRP attack. Okay, so for the final demonstration we shall do a CCRP attack using our final two uh, Mark 82 bombs. So there's a little bit of extra setup in order to do a CCRP attack because you have to have a designated point to actually attack. Now luckily for us, uh, whenever we drop weapons the system automatically creates a target point, T0, and that is the currently selected waypoint. So all you have to do is make sure that where you want to attack is selected, so in our case T0 is selected uh, on the EHSI, and then we press designate. And you're going to see here that it says designate steer point. So if I now come back out and uh, see what our HUD symbology looks like, we should find that we are in auto mode uh, and that it's giving us a range to the target. That's exactly what we want to see. So I'm now going to come around uh, and using the arrow on my flight path marker I'm going to orient myself with the target. I can also see the target position uh, on the EHSI. So we're going to come all the way around and once we're facing the target we should have a steering line uh, that we can line up in order to do our attack. Okay, so I'm just about pointing at the target now and as I start to roll out I see that I have a line. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to get the flight path marker to go straight through that line and I have it like that now. And you see that we have a countdown below the distance now. So we're six miles, 30 seconds to drop. So I'm just gonna fly to maintain the line right down the middle of my flight path marker. And once we get it down to about 10 seconds, I will then push and hold the bomb pickle button. And that will authorize the drop of the bombs once the counter reaches zero. So 10 seconds, I'm pushing and holding the pickle button now. Eventually a line will travel down. There's the line. It will start to travel down my steering line. I want to try and keep this as accurate as possible. Bombs are away. I can release the pickle. And that should be a fairly accurate CCRP drop uh, from straight and level flight. And we can now just come off as normal. And that concludes a demonstration of how to drop free fall bombs in the AV-8B Harrier. So, as demonstrated, you have the CCIP, Constantly Computed Impact Point, you've got CCIP to CCRP handover, and then finally there we had CCRP, otherwise known as Automatic. I hope that you all enjoyed that, and I'll see you next time.